think one of the things that I'm finding so exciting um, is really the convergence of the technologies that have been out there, if you will, for a while. Um, but they're really coming together. And let me just tell you what I mean by that. Um, you know, we've talked about cloud technologies for a long time, and we've talked about big data. But interestingly enough for us, the ability to actually bring big data into the cloud, be able to access it securely from any device. So now we're talking about not only mobile devices, tablets, but also moving into thin client and being able to bring that together with the cloud, the big data, and the analytics is going to be huge for us in the future. And then we're going to need to run that over a secure network that we can get anywhere in the world. So I think that the thing that's so exciting is that we've talked about these different technologies separately, but in our world, it's really bringing them all together, and they're going to lower our cost, they're going to increase our ability from a cybersecurity perspective, and we're going to be able to get them out there and run them much better than what we had before. So those are some of the really big opportunities, and they're the hard ones because it isn't about thinking up the new technology. It's about how do you actually get it deployed in an environment where we still have a lot of legacy out there. Well, let me talk about cybersecurity because um, that's obviously paramount on our minds. Um, right now, our networks have been designed in a way that they don't really, we're not really designing them, thinking all the way from the data centers, you know, through um, our servers, through storage, into firewalls. They've each been designed at separate points. And what that means is that the complexity is such that, first of all, our vulnerabilities are greater. Second of all, for us to be able to see and manage the network is difficult because there are so many different styles and types of networks that are out there. So bringing those all together, doing some consolidation, um, but also doing standardization, and then running them out of organizations that are looking and watching from a cyber perspective is really going to continue to improve our ability um, to actually defend our networks. Um, and interestingly enough, when you do that, you're going to need fewer people because we aren't going to be designing everything from scratch, but rather we're going to be using things as a service. And so you bring down your cost of, uh, of actual operation as well. Well, I'll tell you, I think the thing that's really going to be exciting, and I know we've talked about it for a long time, but it's actually the um, uh, sort of the internet connectivity of everything that we have. Um, and I think it's going to be a challenge for us because it means that we're going to have to understand how to manage all of that. Um, but it is going to impact us, and uh, I think it's going to be a really important part of as we move forward. Um, the second piece of that is that we're looking at how do we move away from DOD-designed technologies and better adoption of consumer technologies because they're moving so quickly, and the challenge for us is how do I adopt them in a secure way so that again I'm keeping up with the pace of technology but at the same token I'm making sure that it fits within my environment. Well our challenge is actually not so much embracing it. I got a lot of technology. I mean I have DARPA, I've got you know science and technology budgets. I think as you know defense has always been known for um, you know, being very interested in what's the next technology, how do we ensure we're staying ahead. My challenge is how do you implement it? And how do you actually implement it on a wide scale basis rather than pockets of innovation? So for instance, what we've been doing is to try to bring together um, all of the mobility activity that's going on to build the infrastructure for the mobility. So the networks that it rides on, the encryption, the security, and then build an app store, but not drive the app store. So we create the infrastructure and put the app store out so that organizations can do the innovation, but do it in a way that it fits within what we need for DOD overall. So those are my challenges um, in terms of you know, being able to embrace. The other piece that's difficult, which I think is a, a, a federal, it's a, just a government perspective, is 
How do you bring in good ideas from the commercial sector, but yet be fair? so that you're not favoring one company over another in terms of the technology that they bring. And that's a challenge for us because you don't want to favor one company over the next, but yet sometimes by the time you go through a competitive process, it takes a long time and you aren't necessarily taking advantage of it. And I think that's a DOD problem, but I think it's just a government problem overall. Well, I think first of all, um, I think there'll be a, a, a huge recognition that connection to uh, communications is the first thing that a commander thinks about uh, when they have to go in and in take an action, um, as opposed to having a, an assumption that it's always going to be there. So, you know, it'll be first, what kind of communication am I going to have? Secondly, how do I protect it, and how do I make sure it's going to be secure? And then thinking about how an operation is going to be done, considering you know, cyber as a part of the way that we think about the way that we do our business. The second thing is, I certainly hope 10 years from now that it's going to cost us a lot less than what it does today. And the third thing is that, you know, my hope for DOD is that when they have to do a technology project, they don't think about what data center do I have to build, what network do I have to build. They think about, you know, I want to do, a, I want to use a technology that does this you name it, on a ship, on an airplane, on the ground. And what do I have to have to plug in to the communications and the infrastructure that's already out there? If I can even get close to that, I will be a, be a happy person.